Okay, now I'm going to stop the development server, to clear this, and I'm going to generate a production build. So here I can run Gatsby build. And this is going to run all the GraphQL queries to pre-render the static files and generate those static files in the local file system. If you go here to the public folder, we're going to see that we're going to get different files created by this command that we just run. So as we can see here, all these files are generated by this build command. Here, for example, we have the index HTML. So this is the pre-rendering of the index file. So here is part of the site metadata that we change within this Gatsby config file here. And if we want to access this production build, we can use Gatsby serve. So this is going to allow us to access the production build that we just created. So now if we go here, here we have access to the production build. And this is a plugin, Gatsby plugin S3. So we can use this plugin to deploy our application to an S3 bucket. So here I already created this bucket called Gatsby test 01. So here we have all the commands that we need to run. First, we need to install this plugin. So I'm going to grab this from here and I'm going to install that plugin here. npm install Gatsby plugin S3. Okay, now that the plugin has been installed, we can go back and we can make some changes to install the plugin in the application. So we can set it up and we need to go here to the Gatsby config file and we can add an entry here. Let's say here. And here we need to specify the name of the plugin that is Gatsby plugin S3 and the bucket name that in our case is this one is Gatsby test 01. So I'm going to replace that here. And now I'm going to modify the package JSON file so I can add a script to deploy the application to S3. So let's go to the package JSON file and I'm going to add that entry here. So this will be deploy. And this will be Gatsby plugin S3 deploy. Okay, let's move this a little bit. Let's clear this. So this will be npm run build. Okay, now that the production build is ready, we need to deploy the application. But before doing that, we need to set up these two environment variables to access the S3 bucket and to be able to upload contents there. So we need to set this AWS access key ID and also this environment variable named AWS secret access key. Okay, now that we set the environment variables with the credentials, we can perform a deployment in S3. So we can run npm run deploy. And here is going to ask if we want to deploy our application to the bucket, and that's fine. This is the region that we that is going to use, and we're going to say okay. And now if we go to S3. And if we refresh here, it's going to start creating the files here, as we can see here. So it's going to upload all the static files. And at the end, it's going to give us the URL to access this website. Okay, so the deployment has finished. So we can access the website here on this URL. And this URL basically is taking the S3 bucket as the source. So I'm going to follow this link. And as we can see here, we can access the contents of the website. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one. Take care, bye.